This crash today has us asking, what kind of shape are other railings on overpasses in city bridges? Our Cole Miller is live in southwest Portland, right where that truck came crashing down, with more on what ODOT and the county are saying. Cole? Well, Jennifer, Jeff, good evening. It's back to business here. Traffic is moving once again. The roadway open and crews, they have taken off for the night, but I want to have my photographer here push in. You can see they've put up a temporary fix of sorts, a piece of metal where that guardrail once was. Now, ODOT tonight told me this whole west end of the Ross Island Bridge could use a makeover, but as of now, there's nothing on the books. Anytime you crash a large truck into one of the barriers, there's going to be damage. And that's exactly what happened today. Don Hamilton with ODOT says the Ross Island Bridge opened up in 1926, and the roads leading to and from it are pretty dated themselves. It's an old bridge, and some of the access points along in there are fairly old, too. That goes for the railings as well. He says this is the first time something like this has happened here. <laughs> As far as wild crashes on Portland bridges go, we have to go back to March of 2005. That's when a woman lost control on the Morrison, plunging into the Willamette below. Something must have broke my window because there was water immediately in the car. My car sank very, very fast. Pulled from the waters, she made it out with just cuts and bruises. It's completely amazing how lucky I was. We always try to make sure railings are up to uh, crash-worthy standards. Mike Pullen with Multnomah County. We do have old bridges. You know, we've got some hundred-year-old bridges in the, our portfolio. He tells me roughly 20 years ago, the railings along the Hawthorne were beefed up. Over on the Broadway, he says he has seen cars fall off and on to the road below, but it's the burn side that may be the weakest as far as those railings go. I'd say that is the one that's probably our biggest concern. It's um, sort of a decorative railing from 1926. Yeah. And we have repaired it a couple times where vehicles have hit it. And as for the Burnside Bridge, a two year maintenance project gets underway tonight. Some of those railings will be rehabbed, but none of the fixes there will bring it up to seismic standards. As for the guardrail here, ODOT tells me a permanent fix should be coming within the next few weeks. Live tonight in Southwest Portland, Cole Miller, Coin Six News. All right, Cole, thank you. Well, when